Imagine taking a single sip of a so-called sugar-free drink and triggering a surge of blood clots coursing through your arteries. Would you still call that beverage healthy? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and joining me is Alara Skye. Together, we're examining new evidence that two popular sweeteners, erythritol and xylitol, can sharply raise your risk of stroke and heart attack by weakening blood vessel defenses and turning platelets dangerously sticky. The latest laboratory findings overturn the safe and natural image surrounding these sugar alcohols. Researchers now show that erythritol impairs the endothelial cells guarding your brain's tiniest vessels, elevates oxidative stress, and compromises the blood-brain barrier. Xylitol follows a parallel path, driving platelet reactivity so your blood remains hypercoagulable for hours. The danger is most pronounced in people already coping with diabetes, hypertension, obesity, or established cardiovascular disease. In a study published in Journal of Applied Physiology, scientists exposed cultured human brain microvascular endothelial cells to erythritol at doses matching everyday intake. Within just six hours, the cell's barrier integrity fell sharply, and oxidative stress markers climbed, even at the lowest concentration. The team documented a surge in reactive oxygen species, unstable molecules that attack proteins, lipids, and DNA, accelerating cellular injury and inflammation. Concurrently, nitric oxide output dropped. When nitric oxide is suppressed, vessels lose their ability to relax on demand, slowing blood flow and laying the groundwork for ischemic events. The same experiment revealed a diminished release of tissue type plasminogen activator, or TPA, the enzyme that normally dissolves emerging clots. Less TPA means clots persist, and the blood-brain barrier grows leakier, twin setbacks that amplify stroke risk. A separate human trial in arteriosclerosis, thrombosis, and vascular biology delivered real-time confirmation. Healthy volunteers consumed a beverage sweetened with erythritol. Blood tests taken minutes later showed plasma erythritol soaring more than a thousand-fold. Platelet aggregation spiked, thrombin generation accelerated, and clots became structurally denser. A control drink containing glucose produced none of those shifts, underscoring erythritol's unique impact on hemostasis. Glucose's neutrality highlights that calories alone did not drive the hazard. Erythritol uniquely converted fibrinogen into tough fibrin strands and unleashed dense granule chemicals that cement clots. For individuals already managing arterial plaque or elevated LDL, that rapid cascade can shift a stable lesion toward blockage. The data leave little doubt. Erythritol turns a diet dessert into a high-stakes gamble for vascular events. Xylitol proved equally troubling in a European Heart Journal investigation examining habitual intake. Participants using xylitol-sweetened foods logged higher incidences of heart attacks and strokes. Platelet reactivity rose markedly in every subject after a single xylitol drink, and that pro-clot state endured for up to four hours. Mechanistic work traced the effect to an abrupt calcium influx that primes platelets to clump at the slightest trigger. Plasma xylitol likewise shot up more than a thousand-fold post-ingestion, mirroring erythritol's kinetic profile. Frequent exposure keeps platelets perpetually on edge, widening the window for dangerous clot formation. People with insulin resistance, elevated blood pressure, or central obesity exhibited the steepest rise in thrombotic potential, indicating a synergistic risk when metabolic stress meets sugar alcohols. The collective evidence dismantles marketing claims that label erythritol and xylitol as natural, keto-friendly, or diabetic-safe. Those terms obscure direct vascular harm and mislead consumers seeking health-conscious options. The safest course is complete avoidance, beginning with a careful scan of ingredient lists on anything tagged sugar-free, low-carb, or reduced sugar. If you spot erythritol, xylitol, sorbitol, or similar polyols, choose an unsweetened alternative instead. When cravings strike, the article recommends three sweet options grounded in whole foods. Natural stevia leaves, luohanguo, 
and pure dextrose derived from clean cane sugar. Each delivers flavor without accelerating platelet activity or breaching the blood-brain barrier. For everyday energy, rely on real carbohydrates, whole fruits, fruit juices that retain pulp, white rice, ripe bananas, and root vegetables, such as sweet potatoes. A daily target of 200 to 250 grams of these carbs stabilizes insulin and supports thyroid-driven metabolism. Gut health intersects directly with clot risk. Artificial sweeteners disrupt microbial diversity, reducing beneficial strains that modulate inflammation. Counteract that loss by eating fermented foods like homemade yogurt, sauerkraut, and kimchi. Regular servings seed your intestines with lactobacilli and bifidobacteria that produce short-chain fatty acids, compounds shown to calm endothelial irritation and refine immune balance. Linoleic acid, the dominant omega-6 fat in industrial seed oils, compounds vascular damage by oxidizing rapidly and embedding into cell membranes. Replace soybean, sunflower, corn, and canola oils with traditional saturated fats, raw grass-fed butter, tallow, or ghee. The article advises keeping daily linoleic acid intake below 5 grams, under 2 grams for optimal protection. The free Mercola Health Coach app offers a seed oil sleuth feature that tracks LA to a tenth of a gram, making compliance concrete. The research distills into five practical steps. First, eliminate sugar alcohols. Second, select safe sweeteners like stevia leaves or luo han guo when necessary. Third, prioritize whole food carbohydrates for steady glucose without endothelial stress. Fourth, fortify gut diversity with fermented staples. Fifth, lower omega-6 oils by switching to stable animal fats and tracking linoleic acid grams. Following this blueprint reduces oxidative stress, restores nitric oxide balance, and keeps platelets in a resting state. Frequently asked questions in the article underscore the urgency. Erythritol undermines the blood-brain barrier within hours, allowing toxins to penetrate neural tissue. Platelet stickiness rises within minutes after each serving and remains elevated for hours. Glucose does not trigger these changes, confirming that the sugar-alcohol structure, not simple sweetness, drives harm. Xylitol mirrors erythritol's risk profile, especially in people already burdened by insulin resistance or high blood pressure. The action plan is unambiguous. Remove these ingredients, choose real carbohydrates, avoid omega-6 oils, and feed your microbiome. Your seven-day challenge is straightforward. Purge every kitchen product containing erythritol or xylitol, replace industrial seed oils with butter, tallow, or ghee, and record linoleic acid intake so it never exceeds five grams. During the week, note changes in digestion, energy, and cardiovascular comfort. Anything from steadier pulse to lighter post-meal fatigue. At week's end, share your observations with a friend or family member, reinforcing accountability and spreading awareness of hidden clotting hazards. Small, disciplined actions today fortify your blood vessels and support clearer flow tomorrow. By choosing real foods, stable fats, and microbiome-friendly ferments, you reclaim metabolic stability and lower your clotting footprint at its root. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.